Welcome to the Camco Power Flushing video. Camco is the UK's leading manufacturer of power flushing pumps, chemicals, and clear flow pumps. In this video, we'll be showing you how to clean a domestic central heating system with the clear flow CF40 pump to a standard exceeding British standard BS7593, the code of practice for cleaning domestic systems. Here's how to use the clear flow CF40 to power flush a heating system. Clear flow pumps are designed to allow power flushing of a heating system with minimal dismantling. Radiators may be individually flushed without removing or disconnecting them. To use the clear flow pump, it is necessary to connect it into the heating system at one location, which will vary depending on the heating system. First, operate the heating system and identify problem flow areas, such as radiators which do not get hot or have cold panels. Turn the heating system off and electrically isolate the circulation pump. Decide where to connect the clear flow pump into the heating system. This will vary depending on the system design and the availability of suitable connection points. If the pump is not easily accessible, as is often the case with combination boilers, the clear flow pump can be attached across the tails of a convenient radiator by using the standard flow and return hoses after draining and removing the radiator. The standard clear flow hose fittings will connect onto 3 quarter inch radiator valves and your kit contains the necessary adapters to fit half inch valves. If a new boiler is being fitted to an existing system, connect the clear flow flow and return hoses across the flow and return connections to the boiler using push fit connectors after removing the old boiler. If there is a filter already installed, then very often the power flushing pump can be connected across the fittings. Camco makes the CP2, a special adapter which enables clear flow pumps to be connected directly onto the body of standard heating system circulator pumps after the removal of the motor head. Next, locate a convenient mains water supply and connect a hose onto the clear flow water inlet connection, keeping the water inlet tap closed. Connect the dump hose and run to a suitable foul water drain point, ensuring that the end of the hose cannot snake sideways. Because the clear flow pumps water at a high flow rate, the heating system must be made into a sealed system for the duration of the power flush. With vented systems, it is necessary to cap off the cold feeds and expansion pipes to the header tank using either temporary valves or push fit cap ends to prevent an overflow. Open all radiator and balancing valves fully and remove the heads of any thermostatic radiator valves. Manually open any diverter or zone valves to allow all circuits to be flushed. Open the water inlet valve, fill the clear flow tank half full, and then close the valve. If using a CP2 adapter, open the circulator pump and clear flow isolating valves and switch on the clear flow. Ensure that the liquid level in the tank remains above the minimum mark, adding more water if necessary and check for any hose connection leaks. Allow the pump to run for 10 minutes without adding any flushing chemical, reversing the direction of flow regularly. This rapidly dislodges loose debris. Now change the clear flow pump into dumping mode by rotating through 180 degrees the red valve handle on the opposite side of the CF40 from the direction in which the flow reverser is pointing, i.e. the return side. By doing this, the dirty system water and loosened corrosion debris are diverted to waste down the dump hose instead of returning back into the tank. The water level in the clear flow tank will immediately begin to fall. The mains water inlet supply should be turned on and adjusted so the volume of incoming water compensates for that being forced out of the system to waste. Allow the pump to run until the waste water runs relatively clear ensuring that the water level in the tank remains above the minimum mark at all times. Restore circulation through the clear flow pump by rotating through 180 degrees the red valve handle on the opposite side of the CF40 from the direction in which the flow reverser is pointing, i.e. the return side. Close the orange water inlet valve. Now add power flush FX2 flushing liquid into the clear flow tank to allow the chemical to reach all parts of the heating system. 2.5 litres of FX2 should be used for the average 3-bedroom house. 
or with systems containing aluminium radiators or heat exchangers. Use one 500mm pack of hyperflush concentrate. If possible, switch on the boiler to heat the water to 50 degrees centigrade. The CF40 is capable of handling temperatures up to 75 centigrade, but for normal power flushing you shouldn't need to exceed 50 degrees centigrade. Circulate throughout the system for 15 minutes, reversing the flow direction regularly. First clean the cylinder coil for 10 to 15 minutes if a cylinder is present. By closing off the heating circuit and reversing the flow regularly, close off all but one radiator. Allow full flow through this one radiator for at least 5 minutes or until the radiator is hot all over, reversing the flow regularly. Open the next radiator and close off the first. Work through the rest of the radiators in turn so that each radiator has been individually subjected to the full flow for at least 5 minutes. With the last radiator still open, change the clear flow into dumping mode for a second time. To force the dissolved and mobilized sludge and corrosion debris out of the heating system, a rubber mallet or radhammer vibrational tool may be used to help remove cold spots from stubborn radiators. The vibration caused helps to loosen stubborn deposits and is particularly effective with double panel radiators. Continue dumping until the water runs clear, then reverse dump direction until again clear. Now, close the last radiator and open second from last radiator and repeat the dumping process on each radiator in turn, working back around the system in reverse order. After the last radiator has been cleared, open the hot water circuit and dump on the coil until the water runs clear. With the hot water and heating circuits open and all radiators now wide open, change the CF40 back into circulation mode. Add a small tube of neutralizing crystals to the pump tank and circulate for 10 minutes. Then change the clear flow back into dumping mode for another 10 minutes or until the wastewater runs clear. Check a sample of wastewater with pH meter and check that the reading is the same as that obtained with a sample of mains water. If there is any difference, Continue dumping until both samples show the same reading. Best practice would be to measure both total dissolved solids, turbidity and pH. Close the water inlet valve whilst keeping the pump in discharge mode for a few seconds to lower the water level in the pump tank. Restore the pump into circulation mode. Add system safe DM concentrate corrosion inhibitor to the clear flow tank. Allow the clear flow to circulate for at least 10 minutes so that the inhibitor is distributed throughout the system to give it immediate protection against further corrosion and scale deposits. Switch off the clear flow power flush unit and disconnect it from the heating system. Remove any temporary isolating valves or caps on the expansion and cold feed pipes and return the system to the original operational condition. The heating system is now full of fresh, clean water and treated with a high quality corrosion inhibitor. To check that System Safe DM concentrate has been added at the optimum level, the System Safe test kit should be used to check a sample of system water. This video will enable you to use your ClearFlow pump effectively, but if you'd like to learn more, why not book onto one of our regular power flushing training sessions at our St Albans Academy, an investment in time that will pay you dividends in future.